friend, for us it is unthinkable to die in any land but Egypt. The wanderer may travel far and wide, but in his old age, he yearns for burial in his native land. Such is the story of Sinue, a loyal servant to the King Amenemhat. Assassins set upon the king while he slept and murdered him. At the time, Sinue chanced to be with the royal army in the far western lands. A great terror possessed him when he heard the news of the king's death, for he feared the chaos that might ensue. He fled at once and roamed the earth to Byblos and Kedem in the north, stopping at last in the land of retinue. There, Sinue met Amunenshi, the ruler of that land, who promised him great wealth. He set Sinue over his children and married him to his eldest daughter. He bestowed on him a wonderful land called Yah, where the soil burst with figs and grapes, and wine was even more plentiful than water. Sinue became great and powerful. He gave drink to the thirsty, and he restored the wanderer to his path. Yet Sinue's thoughts turned to Egypt. For now, he was becoming old, his senses dull and his limbs weak. Nothing could be more important than to join his body to the land of his birth. When Senwasret, who was now the pharaoh, heard of Sinue's yearning, he summoned him at once. Come home to Egypt, he wrote. You shall not die abroad. Too long have you roamed across the earth. Here you shall have a funeral procession. Your coffin will be encased in gold. Its head will be of lapis lazuli. Come and receive your funeral rites. Upon returning to the king's court, Sinue knelt down and kissed the earth. To meet the king face to face was like dying for Sinue was in the presence of a god. He lay prostrate and could not speak before the divine pharaoh. Yet Sinwasret was gracious to him. He gave Sinue a great house and a splendid garden. He stocked his tomb with all that was needed. Sinue lived in the king's favor. And when he died, and the day of landing came for Sinue, the king bestowed on his body funeral rites such as no commoner had ever received. The beginning of this story has now come to its end, as it was written.